questions tonight remain over whether Marion County High School football players will face even more injury over the alleged action of their coaches. Good evening. I'm Kim Chapman. And I'm Josh Rowe. Tonight, the team is already down half of their coaching staff. That includes head coach Mac McCurry. Now the TSSAA is speaking out about the allegations. Alyssa Sobrato joins us now with more on this story. Alyssa. Kim Josh, we're learning this isn't the first time Coach Mac McCurry and the Marion County Warriors have been in trouble with the agency. Just a few months ago, after McCurry started as head coach, the organization placed them on probation, banning spring practice. Now allegations have surfaced of allowing a former college player, Rakeese Hale, to suit up and play. The TSSAA says Marion County High School reported itself about what could be a major violation. The only TSSAA violation that they've actually self-reported is that they had a young man who practiced with them that was not enrolled in regular attendance at that school. Marion County authorities say that young man <laughs> is former South Pittsburgh All-State running back Rakeese Hale, a violation that TSSAA's executive director says holds serious financial implications. The danger that I think any school would have Marion County had with this young man practicing if this young man had to gotten injured. Uh, you know, our insurance would not have covered someone who's not enrolled in regular attendance at the school or had he injured someone else. Children says when it's time, they will take appropriate action. For this particular violation, it will result in one week of practice taken away for each day the violation occurred. But Childress says right now he has no interest in taking people out of practice or canceling any future games of the season. But that could easily change as the investigation unfolds. It's beyond our authority. We're going to monitor the criminal investigation. We're going to work with Marion County's administration. We're going to try to determine if there have been any other violations of our bylaws, and then we'll deal with them appropriately. Earlier tonight, I spoke with Marion County School Superintendent Mark Griffith about TSSAA's question as to whether or not Marion County High School should even continue to have a football team. Griffith tells me he's troubled to hear the statement, but says they plan to sit down after the criminal investigation is over to figure out what to do next. Josh. Alyssa, thank you. South Pittsburgh was not the last stop for all state running back Ricky Sale. Hale, who is the player believed to have been paid for practicing with Marion County players, is also a former collegiate athlete. Hale had a breakout season last year at Bethel University in West Tennessee. Bethel Sports Information Director Dave McCulley says Hale would have been the school's premier running back but did not return to school. McCulley says he would be shocked if Hale did not know that he broke the rules.